Welcome to my unboxing and first look at a sample motherboard that's too early for packaging. It comes with a driver disc that looks like this. Evaluation 93. Yes, this is MSI's military class 3 answer to the AMD FM2 socket. And I actually still don't even know what the model number of this board is. It's actually not on here. We'll be back in a moment. Right, so we found it. This is the A85X8G65 from MSI. This is a performance board uh, based on the new FM2 socket from AMD, which comes along with a few really cool things. So number one is this supports Trinity APUs. Remember, an APU is AMD's nomenclature for a CPU and a GPU on one chip. So basically a CPU now, since both of the major CPU guys have GPUs built in. However, AMD's APUs have much more powerful GPUs built into them than Intel's equivalents, as we'll show you in an upcoming video on the NCIX Tech Tips channel. You've got a pretty bog standard layout, so you've got your CPU socket in the middle, you've got these beastly looking VRM coolers all around here that actually look outstanding. So I'll get you a bunch of different angles of those. Those look awesome. Get slick to, can, or uh, slick, sorry, sorry. It's not slick filming today, it's diesel. Um, so there's your eight pin CPU connector in the top left. There's your dual channel DDR3 compatible slots on the right, so this is pretty, pretty standard again. OC Genie button for easy one button overclocking. Onboard power switch, onboard reset switch. V checkpoint, so if you're looking to like break some overclocking records on the FM2 socket compared to other FM2 users, then you'll use this to monitor your voltages with a multimeter rather than relying on software. 24 pin connector along the right hand edge, 8 SATA 3 6 gigabit per second connectors. Uh, six of them are right angle and the other two are your standard connectors that come right out of the board. And uh, those are all running off the AMD chipset. Unlike Intel chipsets, we have full support for SATA 3 6 gigabit per second. Our USB 3 header is here for whatever reason. That seems like an odd place for it, but I guess I won't question it. Your clear CMOS button is here, which again seems like a bit of an odd placement for it, but I'm not going to question it too much. Uh, front panel, there's all your front panel connectors right there. There is your front USB 2. Here is your front USB 2 with their supercharger feature, which allows you to charge your tablet or whatever else. Uh, in terms of fan connectors, we've got one, two, three four pin fan connectors and two three pin fan connectors so you can plug a total of five fans into the board no problem remember guys trinity gpus actually have use for all these video outputs on the back of the board so we've got vga dual link dvi display port and hdmi you can use up to three of them at a time so you can drive three displays off of a single onboard graphics card which is very cool stuff it's four usb 2.0 ports uh, PS2, I have never seen a gigabit ethernet port this high up on an IO shield. I've just never seen that before. Um, you know, it's nothing, it's just, I don't know, it's just the placement stuff. Okay, uh, optical audio out, two USB 3.0 ports, and 7.1 audio out. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Now I'm going to have to remind myself, thank you for checking out my unboxing of the A85XA G65 from MSI. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos that we didn't cover the PCI Express slots. One, two, three PCIe 1X slots, two PCI slots, and then two PCIe 16X slots. However, this one is only wired for 8X operation. So if you were running Crossfire X, you'd get two 8X slots, which is more than enough especially given on a platform like this, you'd probably be running like 7800 series or lower. And don't forget guys, using that onboard GPU in the APU, uh, you can add a low end video card here and you can use them together in like a hybrid crossfire type thing that will allow you to get slightly better performance versus running this alone or the graphics card alone.